Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the second channel. Guys, we have brand new Evos that are changing the way we can take silver players, low-rated golds, and even bronzes, and boost them up into meta, really straight into our team type of cards with the new skill moves and weak foot training evolutions. Now, they don't look that crazy when you look at them straight away, but I'm going to show you today how they can be crazy and how they're really going to change chain evolutions in the next couple of weeks on this game as these evolutions are available. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by just an overview. What are these evolutions? Well, it's an upgrade to the weak foot and an upgrade to the skill moves, as you would think. Now, these were leaked beforehand, and I think the leaks got our expectations up a little high because when I first looked into this Evo, I saw what it fit that was in my club, and I was like, there's not a whole lot in here that I just want to give a weak foot boost to. Like, 84 rated striker, max four star weak foot. It's cool. You get to go to a five star weak foot. But I think a lot of us were hoping that we were going to be able to take somebody that was already in our squad, maybe an already evolved player. Like if I was able to put, I don't know, Mbappe or Thierry Henry is probably too good of an example. But if I was able to put like even this Podolski for a skill move upgrade and go from four star skills to five star skills, or maybe a weak foot upgrade on somebody like uh, Adama breaking from Four, three star weak foot to a four star weak foot, right? He's got the striker position. Well, unfortunately, the upgrade isn't that good for already existing cards. And I think that's where some people are disliking this evolution. The skill move one and the weak foot one both seem like they were a little bit overhyped for, and our, our minds already went to a place where, like, oh, what if I could evolve somebody's weak foot and skill move who's already in my team? But that's kind of not what the point of this Evo is. And I think that's why you see. A lot of people downvoting it. 80% downvoted for the skill move and 77% downvoted for the weak foot just because you can't put that insane of cards in it. But it's not just a weak foot and a skill move upgrade. I think that's why EA did it the way that they did. There's actually a pretty sizable upgrade here. Let's look through the weak foot training one first. There is a couple confusing parts about this. First of all, you get a plus three shooting, plus three pace, and you get plus four passing along with plus seven dribbling and plus three physical, so a big dribbling boost there. Uh, and you do get playstyle press proven and playstyle quick step and the weak foot boost. This is where it gets a little confusing because if you look at the playstyles that are given for the weak foot, which is press proven and quick step, but then you look at the playstyles that are given for the skill move boost, which you would probably use on a, you'd probably use the weak foot right on a striker, definitely. These are both for strikers. But when you think of a striker getting a weak foot boost, and you think of the play styles you would want, I think I would want power shot and chip shot. Like for a striker that's going to be able to shoot better with their off foot, their weaker foot, they go to a four star or five star weak foot. I think I'd rather have the, the power shot and the chip shot. I wish they would have flipped the play styles. That's what doesn't make a lot of sense. Also, if you're going to Evo somebody with skill moves and give them five star skills, you maybe would want press proven and quick step, right? Quick step with five star skills is going to make those skills feel even faster and come off on dribbling after a skill move even faster. That's why I feel like the, the play style should have been swapped between weak foot and skill move. But nonetheless, this Evo is really good for the chains. And same with the skill move, right? Again, three star skill max on the skill move is the problem. So you can't create a five star skiller with just this Evo, but you get a plus seven shooting boost. And that's why I say that these two Evos combined like plus seven shooting with plus three, that's plus 10 shooting between these two Evos, plus seven dribbling, plus three dribbling on the skill moves one. So you get plus 10 dribbling between the weak foot and the skill moves. That's why this Evo is really perfect for one thing. And that is making chain evolutions look incredible. And I'm going to show you guys some chain evolutions here in a second. But also a lot of people are looking at this and saying, okay, for like the weak foot one, I can straight away put in somebody like Orsic, right? Who's three star, four star, you can make him three star, five star, and he looks pretty cracked. If you preview the card, or sorry, if we look at the evolved version, of Orsic, if we can find him here really close to the top, which I don't see him at the moment, but maybe we'll just click on his card and go eligible. Let's go Orsic 84 and just go boom into the weak foot training. You can see that's a pretty good looking card, right? 90 shooting, 84 passing, 89 dribble, and he gets the five star weak foot and some play styles. Not bad, right? But that's where this evolution kind of that's where it stops, right? There are a couple good ones in here where um, some people may be doing Gonzalo Ramos. Uh, maybe the Jimenez, maybe the Boniface, and a lot of people, especially for the skill move one, 
are looking at Darwin Nunez. That's probably the most popular gold card that is like 84 rated for a single upgrade that people are putting into this because it gives Darwin plus three pace, plus seven shooting, which is pretty desirable, but he's still only four star, three star. He can't fit into any other evolutions that would give him a weak foot upgrade, but it does give him more pace and all the way up to 92 shot power and 93 positioning. So that's probably one of the more popular just straight up upgrades for the skill move evo for the weak foot evo there are some nice cards in here too but this one doesn't feel like it's meant for higher rated again like i keep saying it feels like it's meant for something else with chain evolution and then the skill move upgrade as well we already mentioned darwin but some of you guys maybe have seen this danny rodriguez yes you go to four star four star or sorry he has a three star weak foot man if this card was four four i think he'd be sick 93 pace 90 shooting and four star skills nice card but again it's the weak foot that's going to let you down in a lot of those scenarios. Probably why it's a pass, right? Gaikaris from Sweden. Nuno da Costa in Team of the Week as well. Um, there's some cool items here as well. Loader. You can put this Foundations card in. Sheehan. But again, three-star weak foot. Kills it for a lot of these cards. That's why you need an evolution that combines both of the two. And let me show you a couple big names that people are getting really excited about right now when it comes to these evolutions and chaining them together. Barcola is a very, very popular one. His gold card has actually gone extinct on the market. He is no longer on the market at 10,000 coins because everybody wants to buy this mad lad and get themselves some PSG links, French PSG links. Ooh, he's actually listed up a little bit right now. I bet these are selling like hotcakes though. Yeah, expired at 10,000 coins. People are buying this card because of the links that he has. He can play right wing and striker, which makes him available for some pretty crazy combinations, as you can see. Now, I will say once again, as you often see a lot on Footbin, look, Power Shooter, that Evo is no longer available. When you guys are researching these Evos, as I always say on Footbin, make sure you click into the card, okay? Click into the card and see the welcome, okay? That's not available anymore. So with these kind of paths and these chain Evos, you just have to be careful because a lot of them that show up as the best cards on the top of Footbin aren't actually usable. You, you can't actually do that because a couple of those Evos, like maybe Power Shooter in this one, is not out anymore. What I would do and what I really like to do is go into foot.gg and what you can do here is add Evos to um, the list and hide expired evolution upgrades. So this is one that you could actually do with Barcola right now if you have your founders and founders upgrade. But if you don't, there's still some really good ones too. Um, a lot of these revolve around cut inside and finisher. So this Barcola can go to three star, five star and get a Trivella plus playstyle if you do cut inside, weak foot, and then finisher. I mean, that's a pretty cracked looking card, but it is gonna cost you 200K plus the card off the market. So 210,000 coins because finisher and cut inside are both a hundred thousand a piece this one i, I kind of like this one you don't get a play style plus but you get higher stats and you get the four star skills for barcola this to me i know he's got really insane stats probably not going to be evolable again for a long time but that's a that's a nice card even without a play style plus a hundred thousand coins and then free free you get 92 pace 91 shooting and 89 dribbling and a four star five star on a striker attacking player that's a good one if you want to boost up a little bit more um and you know not use the skill moves or sorry sorry not use the weak foot you can still get a weak foot upgrade and get a little bit higher passing and dribbling stats a little bit less pace and shooting you get a four star five star barcola with the winter wild cards design and you can see the difference there right 92 and 91 versus 88 and 89 but then you get 89 passing 90 dribbling and a couple like tiki taka play style and first touch and press proven maybe more of like a center attacking mid there if you wanted to go that route for him so there's tons of options right there's so many options for this barcola card and for a lot of these players that fit into these evos especially if they're starting off as a silver or a very low rated base gold ebony salmon is another one uh another player that like this card looks nuts but again you have to have your founders evolution still available and stop right there and finish it this card is actually more doable but i think a lot of people have used their founders at this uh stage of the game four star five star with trivella technical quick step power shot tiki taka first touch and press proven 95 pace 94 uh, sorry 95 passing 94 pace that's um that's that's nothing short of incredible right there. And she's got many different versions as well, depending on what you have. And maybe you want to stop early and not do, or maybe you already did one of her versions. I'm assuming most people haven't evoed this card, but 
maybe you already did a certain version again i love foot.gg for this because it shows in my think in my opinion a better way of looking at the different evos and how the chains work but you can see already how it works right with the weak foot and the skill move in the same chain you can take a three star three star striker to a four star five star striker with good shooting passing and dribbling and pace upgrades that is why this evo is has a lot of hype and it has a lot of potential now there's a lot of craziness right now on foot.gg because with there being so many lower rated players to evolve in this, the website is very slow. Like I think they said it was 1.1 million new player combinations or new players that were added to their site, the database on their site because of how many silvers and golds that this affects. Check out this Norden card. Stop right there into cut inside, into skill moves, and then finisher one or two. You get a left-footed Trivella, four-star, five-star player with 93 passing, 90 pace, 90 shooting, and 92 dribble. That's cracked, man. And again, with a lot of these silvers, we always point out the reactions and the composure. He's got 87 composure and 85 reactions, which you can live with, right? 98 uh, positioning, 99 vision, short pass as well, 99 agility, 98 ball control, 40 aggression. That's that's pretty low there. But this Evo is only going to cost you, what is that? Uh, it's going to cost you a lot, 275,000 coins, because I think, if I remember correctly, the stop right there, that's a paid Evo, right? I think stop right there is paid. Yeah, 75,000 coins. That's the problem with some of these as well when you're doing these change, the chain Evos. It's going to cost you a lot. So, make that kind of choice when you're going through this when you're looking through some of these players if it's somebody that you don't want to spend coins on really try to prioritize finding players that fit both the skill moves and the weak foot training evo and that you don't have to do finisher or cut inside or stop right there if you don't want to spend any coins here's one that you have to get done right away because keeping balance goes away on saturday tomorrow you got to get it done asap but look at his Briel and bolo card controlled lengthy because he's a little bit low on the agility and really high in the strength this is a cracked card i mean i don't know if you remember mbolo from like fifa 18 ones to watch i'll never forget his card one of the earliest ones to watch is out there you put him into the keeping balance so he gets quick step plus which actually kind of offsets his accelerate which might help him be more overpowered he's quick step but then he's also controlled lengthy so he gets up to that high speed faster and then he can maintain a higher speed over time because he's lengthy that just sounds cracked to me. I know his links aren't the best, but he's League 1, 4, 5, 90 pace, 91 shooting, and he got the quick step plus. He doesn't have that many finishing play styles, but he does have power, power shot, and he's got 98 shot power, so those are going to be some very powerful power shots. Press Proven's nice on a striker, actually. And then he's got Rapid, Flare, and uh, nice card. Like, genuinely, that's an insane card right there. I think Mbolo's card might even be going up a little bit on the market. Uh, and the, the only problem with this is the time frame, right? You have to choose today if you're doing this card. But if that one interests you at all, I would go try to pick up. Or if his card goes to 10K, which, I mean, he's going to be fluctuating a lot. Um, one thing you can do to try to pack any of these gold commons, one thing that I've done a lot of, is make sure you try to pack them through the daily gold upgrade. Or if you're trying to pack even bronzes or silvers, you can pack them through the daily bronze, the premium silver upgrade, the premium bronze upgrade. Like this gives you a common gold pack. I've done multiple of these to try to pack players that I wanted to put into an evolution. So make sure you try to hit a couple of those. It's not the best of chances, but there's decent chances there. Guys, there's so many different players you can make through this. One more I want to show you before I kind of show you how to search through players uh, through foot.gg. Ali Watkins. Ali Watkins has a Centurion Just BC that destroys me almost every time I've played him in foot champs this year, even though his card's not that insane. He's a gold card that you can actually put into skill moves, and a weak foot training. And the reason I've searched through his evolutions in this specific way is I went to the filter, clicked on weak foot and skill move, and then I hit apply. So that shows me all of the evolutions that fit in that you can use either one or both of those in an evolution path for him. Like even if you just wanna put his straight up gold card into the skill moves and weak foot Evo, you're gonna end up with like a 90 pace Ali Watkins with 89 shooting which is pretty good i know this one has the welcome kind of in there as well which gives a slight boost but he'll still be 90 pace and he'll have like 76 passing 89 shooting um 86 dribbling or something like that like he'll be he'll be a really nice premier league striker card 
and he just seems to be pretty cracked in game but it gets it goes to four star five star and, and that is uh pretty sick so um yeah even the stop right there allows him to be upgradable as well but how am i finding a lot of these players this is how i'm finding them and if you want to search up a lot of players i really recommend foot.gg not a hashtag ad just this has been the most useful site for me to search up a lot of these cards. So the way I'm doing this is I'm going to the Evolutions tab. I'm not clicking on any certain evolution. I'm just going right here, clicking on Evolutions Players. Gets me to this page. And then over here on the right side, I'm really thinking that some of the best Evos that are going to come out of this will include Skill Moves Training, Weak Foot Training, and the Growth Spurt. So maybe if you don't have Growth Spurt anymore, you can turn that off, apply filters, and it'll show you some different players in there for just skill moves training. But whatever evos you have open or a combination of some of them, go in here and do a couple little minutes of research, right? And then what I like to do is go down here to the bottom and sort. I like to sort by total in-game stats. And then sometimes I'll add a pace sort as well. So it shows me pacier players that also have a lot of in-game stats at the same time. Uh, like this Cyvette card, you put him through skill moves, weak foot, and then growth spurt. I mean, I know he's striker, center mid, and center defensive mid. What a position combo, by the way. But a four-star, four-star, medium-high center mid with dead ball plus, with uh, passing and dribbling stats like that. 90 composure as well, may I add, on a silver card base. He's got incisive pass, quick step, power shot, press proven, technical, and of course the dead ball plus. Like, his sprint speed's not that good. Uh, his acceleration is though that's that's a that's a solid card that is a card that i am genuinely tempted to do his links are not good whatsoever he's in league two uh, but that's maybe just a super sub midfielder for you that you don't have to spend any coins on uh to do this evo because that's a completely free evo skill moves weak foot and growth spurt are all free evolutions now i will say growth spurt does uh you have to unlock that within one day so that's where it's getting close for a lot of these myself included i gotta figure out who i'm doing in the next couple of days for a few of these evolutions if i want to combine either keeping balance or um you know even growth spurt with some of these cards because uh growth spurt's going to be going away pretty soon at least for the weak foot training and for the skill move training it's just easy squad battles matches or two rivals or champs matches using your active evo play in the game uh and then you have to do one clean sheet in squad battles as well so it's not that many games which is nice for trying to make a really quick little situation here with an evo chain but this is how i find so many of my evos guys that i love to look through um this lunged this card looks pretty crazy he's swedish um, this Australian Petratos, four star, five star. He goes skill move, weak foot into growth spurt. Again, that's kind of a magic combo with these. Now, also, what you could do is if you're like, man, Nate, the growth spurt's going to be going away, are they going to give us more opportunities to upgrade cards? Yeah, like we talked about in yesterday's main channel upload on YouTube that there's still a potential for another bronze evolution. If they drop a bronze Evo that allows you to take a bronze to even like a high rated silver or a gold, you could take that card right there into the weak foot training and boost them up to a pretty meta player as well. So that's kind of the situation with the Evo guys. I don't want to keep talking about it forever, but I wanted to show you how you can find really good Evo chains with this. And especially because it's not that many games to get done, whatever you whatever you want to do in here as well, inside of this search, um, if you want to search by league, like sometimes I, spur, I search for um, MLS because I've got a couple MLS guys that would work pretty well for me. Or since I'm a Spurs fan or from the United States, I've started Evoing a few USA players, whatever nation, whatever uh, club that you want to search for. Go in here and type in the name there and mess around a little bit with this. I love using foot.gg for this because I think it's just so easy to see the players that you can come out of evolutions with. Uh, this card looks pretty. Bobby Wood, growth spurt, and then, okay, that's nice. You you put him into growth spurt first, then you put him into the weak foot, and then into the skill moves, which takes him to a four-star, four-star USA striker. Not a super insane card, but some nice play styles in there. Dead ball, and wow, only 78 attack positioning. Okay, that's not that good. But, you know, that's how you can find some really, really neat cards inside of Evos and find some pretty fun players to play with. So this is really, though, like we said in the beginning, it's going to change how chain evolutions work. I know it's so good to do with the growth spur right now. So if you want to do a combo there, make sure you go ahead and get that done. Um, but like, man, this is going to really, really change how these combinations work. The other way you could look at it, lastly, is trying to find a player like, I don't know, let's say maybe this Gonzalo Ramos is somebody who you want to put in this Evo. And at the end, he's only going to be 
three star four star 83 rated with 80 pace 85 shooting and 80 dribbling like if there's somebody that you want that's a gold card that you're like man i want to start a chain evo for them and i think they're gonna be evolvable evolvable in the future you could definitely take a gold card right now and put them into this evo and then later down the line more evos come out especially if you're putting in like a 70 like this taram i know he's already had a promo card or maybe you missed out on the pedro neto and you want to do a pedro neto evo again like this card that's 80 rated that's four star five star yeah he's got kind of higher pace and, and dribbling but he's lower rated overall which might make him fit into future evos down the line so that's one thing you could look into as well maybe even with some informs like this the sheila card is going to be too high rated to evolve very soon but you know right now a lot of the evos that are coming out are 84 85 86 max rating with a couple of them being a little bit above that like max 86 overall for the finisher uh evo with 92 pace and 90 passing so we're starting to get up there a little bit in ratings for evos so make sure if you're whatever you're trying to do and plan with those you kind of plan that out and see what you can do. I'm still working on Pep's Legacy for Sessegnon, and I just started Like a Rock because it's expiring soon for Weston McKenney as I'm working on a couple of USA links there as well. So that's kind of the Evo situation on this game. As always, guys, be careful, all right? Because players are going to come and go at the top of Footbin being popular. It looks like this guy, Coman, Romanian. He, his card is 7,500 coins. He's exploded today. What what Evo? What's uh, What's the thing here? 89 rated he goes okay you have to have welcome to evolution see that's the problem midfield dynasty maybe the 87 rated one yeah see a lot of these aren't even available so maybe we go to foot.gg here and we type in coman and we find romanian florinal coman we go evolutions and then boom we're going to sort by hide expired evolution upgrades so all the ones that are expired don't work but right now you could put them into stop right there fc founders 2 and then the weak foot training and that looks pretty cracked um yeah there's there's some cool options here with this card but that's what you see right you see at the top of footbin that somebody is pumping this card because that card looks nuts right 94 pace 90 shooting 94 dribble but power shooter and a relentless winger are no longer available so another word of warning for that but continue to watch the silver and the bronze cards in the market and of course be careful when you're trading with those even some of the golds golds that go from discard all the way to like max price don't sell them at max price sell them just below that because you can get market banned for that on this game so that's the evo video for me today i wanted to make that guys because those evos are pretty nuts and i think they're really going to change a lot of people's opportunities to make a silver or a bronze player or even a gold go crazy into their ultimate team which is cool that's what we love about evos all these cool combinations and fun things that you can do in this game. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe for new. See you guys in a main channel upload soon. Link to that's down below in the description. Peace. Out.